Hi, I'm Mary Hoover from 4th and 6th Designs and we're ready to make Full Blooms block number 7. So if you're following along uh, with a shop block of the month, or again if you're doing it yourself, this is the fabric that's introduced this month. It's this piece here, and this is the background for this month. And the rest of the pieces for this flower were given to you in previous months. And again, that is on the chart listed on page 13 of your pattern. Cutting. Our background uh, needed to be a 17 by 25 inch piece, so that's this. Do you remember to cut your one and a half by 36 inch strip that will be used for the piece inner border. Your seven, remember it's seven, four and a half by four and a half inch squares. And six, eight and a half by eight and a half inch squares, which are the background for the little flowers. So we'll talk about those a little bit later. Now going through each of the colors. So the large flower, the main flower, that shape doesn't really fit on there um, perfectly sideways so you just have to tilt it a little bit and then of course you also need your one single flower three large centers and there is a piece right in the middle of the flower and it says right on the piece same fabric as flower so it might not be listed but it says it right on the pattern that this is the same fabric as the large flower and then the center. So your pieces that are left over from other blocks may be in more than one piece, as the case is with this one. I'm going to need this fabric one more time uh, for block number eight. So here's our center and my leftover piece. And then pieces A through D, A, B, C, and D are left over from other fabrics, but we won't use that again. That one's going to be retired. This one is also retired, this dark, uh, beautiful purple. So there are pieces A, A, B, B, and C, C. And as I said earlier, some of your uh, leftover pieces that we're using might be in more than one piece. But we will need this again for block number eight. So I decided to use that little piece that was uh, accompanying this. So these are um, Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4 inside the what is it? A hexagon, octagon, and pieces one, two, and three. Now on your pattern, if you got one of our first editions of the pattern, it says that petal shading fabric in parentheses purple are pieces one and two. It's actually pieces one, two, and three. Um, that was just a misprint. In later editions of the pattern, that does say three, but so just so you know, this purple is for pieces one, two, and three. And then the last little piece that's left over from block number one uh, is the stem and the, the base of the flower. And that's it. So we're going to get this block assembled. So I got all, I have all the pieces cut out. I layered my piece of tracing paper on top of my background. And the first piece I put down um, was the large flower. Now I'm not going to glue that yet. I just need the large flower to be placed so I can get the proper placement for pieces C and D and for the stem and the flower base because they are under the large flower. So now I can remove the freezer paper. I'm sorry, the tracing paper. Remove the large flower. And then I can glue uh, pieces C and D, and I can glue uh, the stem and the base, and then get those stitched, and then we can move on from there. Okay, I got those pieces stitched, C, D, stem, and base, and I am going to, I put the tracing paper back down, and I got the proper placement now for the large flower. So now, that just needs to be glued and then stitched. So we have the large flower stitched down and 
Way back in block number one, um, and in the, in the original tutorial for edge coloring applique, we suggest that when you initially have all of your pieces, to place them all under the tracing paper so that you can get a feel for how each of the pieces are layered on top of one another and then you were instructed to remove the tracing paper and then get yourself down to the bottom most layer and that's where you should begin to stitch. This block is a perfect example of that. There aren't a lot of pieces but the pieces that are on block number seven are rather small and they're really very layered. So I'm going to zoom in and you can see what I'm going to do next. So I placed all of these pieces um, under the tracing paper and now I'm going to start to remove um, layers so I can get to the bottom the, the bottom most layer. So the way that this is layered, CC is the last piece that you'll stitch because it's on the very top. Because that lays on top of, or lies on top of, three, and one, and four, and two, and numeral two, and number one. And then I'm going to remove the center and I'm going to glue and stitch each of these highlight and shadow pieces that you see remaining. So this is a really nice example of how you use the tracing paper and you begin to learn how each of these pieces are layered. So I'm going to glue and stitch all of these highlights and shadows and then we bring the tracing paper back in and do that layering system again. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the very top layer. I'll glue and stitch that. So I got those highlights and shadows put down. Now I'm about to do the center. Glue and stitch. Center stitched. Now we're going to add pieces number one and number two. So remember, for proper placement of each of these little pieces, use the tracing paper, put the pieces under and get them in the right place. So the next layer is Roman numeral two and Roman numeral four. That little number one piece inside the triangle, that's the same fabric as the large flower, that gets glued and stitched next. Second to last is Roman numeral three. And the last piece on this flower is the double letter CC. A lot of thread changes in uh, for this block. Sorry about that, but it is a beautiful block. All right, let's look at the small flowers and see what we did this month. Well, here's a quick look at some of the small flowers that I put together this month. Hey, so that's block number seven. I hope this tutorial was helpful and we'll see you back here for block number eight. Thanks for joining me.